She has traveled the world with more than 100 different appraisal events a year. And this morning, as always, we are happy to welcome back our beloved antiques appraiser, Dr. Lori. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be back on the blend. Yes, it's always such a treat when you stop by. We know how busy you are. It's my treat. And you have been very busy, again, at these um, appraisals that you do and these big events. Again, you travel the country. I do. I do. I'm America's appraiser, yes, you know. Yes, you are. So, yeah. the, so talk a little bit. You're going to show us this morning some really cool stuff. That you've been able to um, help appraise I'm for families. Yes, people bring me their objects. They come in, they get an honest, accurate appraisal from a PhD antiques appraiser, and then they bring it home. Yeah. So we and you're not trying to got. buy them. That's what's so good about it. Right. You really are kind of an unbiased appraiser. I which am is unbiased, important. right? So St. Louis, Missouri. This uh, is just a shot of one of the events. Some of them big, big. Some of them small, small. All depends. That's St. Louis. So that's what one of the typical events might look like with all the objects on the table and people waiting to get their objects appraised, learning from every. Everybody's object as we go. Is there a place in the country that maybe has more interesting or more valuable stuff? I mean, is it all no. equal? Is it all the same? It I don't know if Midwest or West Coast no, or East Coast. No, it is all equal. I have okay. to say that there are right. cool stuff everywhere in big cities and tiny towns everywhere. Okay, okay so let's, let's go to Virginia stuff. Beach now in okay. a Tiffany vase. Tiffany vase. This is Angela, brings the vase to my event in Pongo at the Pongo Strawberry Festival in Virginia Beach. <laughs> it's unmarked, and I recognize it as a prototype for a Tiffany, of a Tiffany vase worth $5,000. Wow. Yeah, you fabulous. know it if it's Tiffany. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It Did was gorgeous. she know what she She had? didn't know, but she had brought me something else, and she said, I'm going to let you look at this. I said, I'll look. <laughs> you never, so, know. never know. All right, uh, number three will take us to Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington uh, is the Seattle home. Garden show here, and these folks bought this painting, an Asian painting, for twenty dollars at the thrift store. Oh boy! And I got to tell them that it was worth seventy-five hundred. When you look at a contemporary painting like that, particularly from Asia, on the back you will see a dark brown color of the canvas. It's a telltale sign for these kinds of pieces. If you see artwork at a thrift store, you might might, might want to think about picking it up. All right, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. And then next up, you're taking us to Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana. This is the Christmas Gift and Hobby Show, and this particular piece is a bitters bottle. A bottle for bitters, a spirit, for mm -hmm. example, and it is brown in color. This one was dug up out of the ground, valued at $5,000. Wow. Yeah, really nice. Old bottles, you want to think about seams. The seams will tell you a lot about the, the actual age mm -hmm. of the bottles. Okay. Yeah. And the next up, you're taking us to Ohio, where I did not you know you did this with kids. Kids can bring in things. Kids collectors is very popular with kids all over the country. This is Johnny, and he went to a yard sale, and he bought this Planet Toys Herbie the Love Bug <laughs> for a dollar. It was worth 65 Good investment, kid. The Good kids job. Have been, the kids have been great. They you love taught them well, Dr. Lori. And you I love them well. Yeah, they're all fun. Right, and then back to Virginia, Salem, Virginia. Salem, Virginia. This is the Home and Garden Show here at Salem, Virginia. And I do, of course, Women's Expo. And all different kinds of events, fairs, festivals, corporate events, a lot of fun. Christmas parties. <laughs> <laughs> this particular piece is Brian, and Brian brought this piece, and he started to cry when I started to talk about the cobalt blue floral form on the on the stoneware crock. He said, this was my grandma's at the top Aww. of the stairs, and when she died, I told everybody I wanted. He got all emotional. Look at him. He's like a football yes. player. He's crying. Oh, he was a doll and a half. And I got to tell him that his crock was worth $10,000. And then he started crying <laughs> even more. He knew. Yeah. All right. And then next up, Evansville, Indiana. This is Holly and her mother. Holly took this. This is funny. This is yeah, a funny story. She took this piece out of her grandma's house and she hid it in her she closet. She asked for it, right? She asked for okay. it. She asked for it from grandma. She said, sure, take it. It's a Balik sculpture. Uh, Balik is a very famous, of course, Irish stone uh, sculpture ceramic manufacturer. And it's giant, like this big. They usually make little cups and saucers. And the Balik piece with the mark on it is the crouching Venus, very famous classical mythological form. Mm -hmm. And she hid it in her closet from her mother. Her mother didn't even know what it Why was. Why was she hiding it? I think she didn't want anybody to know she had it, okay. and she wanted to keep it from her sisters and her <laughs> siblings. She wanted it from Grandma. Fifteen thousand dollars. A fabulous she example. She was hiding it. She. I, I think she knew, knew somewhere. Smart kids. Smart All right, last as we're out of time. Uh, this is pretty cool. This trumpets. This is Harry James, the swing era, 1940s band leader. Harry James's trumpet comes into one of my private events in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Fifty thousand dollars. Fabulous, right? Wow. Wow. Harry James. I know Terrific. your job never gets old. You never know what's going to walk in those doors at your events. How I cool. never know, and it's a lot of fun. I've learned yeah. stories and history, and wonderful people are fun. Yeah. It's good to be in the blend. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Lori, thank you so much. We love when you're here. We look forward to having you back.